Chicory is a perennial plant from Europe, brought to the US to be cultivated as a vegetable, but has since spread and has become a troublesome weed in agricultural and residential areas. This plant grows and spreads throughout summer, creating large blemishes for any lawn. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify this weed, how to get rid of it from your property, and how to prevent it from growing back. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Chicory is a biennial weed. It grows for two years before it produces seed and dies. In its first season of growth, the plant grows as a rosette, meaning the leaves grow outward in a circular arrangement. The seedling will emerge with a few rounded leaves. As the plant grows, the leaves become lance-shaped and irregularly toothed or deeply lobed. In its second growing season, the plant produces a stem that can grow as tall as 5 feet in height. The lower portion of the stem is hairy. Leaves will grow from the stem itself, as well as several flowers. The flowers are usually a blue or purple color, but can also be white or pink. Like many perennials, chicory grows a thick taproot that will regrow the weed if improperly removed. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Chicory grows well in disturbed soil or where the grass is thin. Common sites include but are not limited to pastures, fields, roadsides, ditches, construction sites, and lawns. Chicory actively grows from June until the first frost of the year. Look around your property and take note of where chicory is growing or where it can grow. Be on the lookout for rosettes or mature plants. Flowers make the plant easier to identify, but also look for leaves to find younger plants. It's important to control chicory before the plants produce seeds, as each plant is known to produce around 3,000 seeds each. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep people and animals out of any treated areas until after products have fully dried. To eliminate chicory from your property, use a selective post-emergent herbicide that's labeled not to injure your property's turf grass. In cool season grasses, we recommend 2,4-Diamine. The labeled application rate for spot treatments with this product is one quarter of a pint of product mixed into three gallons of water, or one and one third fluid ounces of concentrate mixed into one gallon of water. In warm season grasses, we recommend Fahrenheit herbicide. For spot applications, mix 0.2 ounces of the product per one gallon of water to apply over 1,000 square feet. Keep in mind that when making applications over St. Augustine grass, Bermuda grass, or Zoysia grass, temporary stunting or chlorosis may occur. For either of these products, we recommend you mix and apply your herbicide with a handheld pump sprayer, and that you use a surfactant like Nanotech to enhance the effectiveness of your treatment. Nanotech is a non-herbicide product designed to improve the adhesion and penetration of pesticides onto treated surfaces. When using Nanotech, just add one fluid ounce of product per one gallon of solution. Spot treat any chicory plant you've found during your inspection. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated and spray the weed to the point of wet but not runoff. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. A follow-up application may be necessary if signs of recovery are observed, especially if the plant's taproot is still alive. Reapplication intervals with 2,4-Diamine range from 21 to 30 days. Reapplication intervals with Fahrenheit range from 4 to 6 weeks. Applications are most effective when the plant is actively growing before seed production. If the plants are close to producing seeds, then you may need to mow the plant to prevent the weed from spreading. The taproot will survive and grow a new plant over the next year, providing another opportunity to apply chemical control. Keep in mind that mechanical removal alone is not recommended, as it is easy to leave even a small part of the taproot in the ground when pulling weeds. As long as a portion of the taproot remains alive, weeds like chicory will continue to grow and take resources away from your other plants. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. One of the best ways to control chicory after it's been eliminated from your property is to mow your grass at proper intervals to maintain a thick growing density. A lawn dense with taller trimmed grass is better able to choke out weeds and prevent them from establishment. 
We also recommend promoting the health of your turf to reduce the conducive conditions that allow weeds and disease to take hold. Consider applying a fertilizer like Solutions 15-510 Weed and Feed with Trimec. This product is a slow-release fertilizer that will provide lawns with essential nutrients and fight against weed development. With a push spreader, apply 3.2 to 4 pounds of product per 1,000 square feet. In addition to fertilizing, you can reduce the shade cast on your lawn by trimming overgrown shrubbery and tree branches, rake away leaf litter and pick up any debris, and employ a proper watering schedule to provide the local grass with enough water to strengthen its roots, but not so much that will encourage weeds. Many grasses require one inch of water every week. Apply the water all at once in the morning so it has time to seep into the ground without evaporating in the sun. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop unwanted plants like chicory from taking over your turf, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.